Shalom, beloved. Hopefully everyone is doing wonderful today. You know, I was going over this um, lesson with my wife. And um, I'm going to try to share this and break this down and make this make sense. You know, dealing with the principles and how the most highest principles don't change, right? Also, like his law don't change. And uh, it's hard for a lot of people to accept that. And you think people that would be in religion that really say they know the Bible, they would get this and they would they would they would see it. But again, they 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 just people are so in their feelings and their emotions instead of, instead of just letting the word of the most high be true and every man be a liar. So before I get into this 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 message, let me start off by giving all credit and glory and honor to the creator of the universe, the Heavenly Father Yahweh, and to the Son Yeshua HaMashiach. I'd also send out a greeting to the brothers and sisters that's trying to wake up the children of the diaspora, right? The children of Israel, and also to the Gentiles that are joined to us in sincerity. To you guys, I say shalom. So dealing with these principles, dealing with this concept, family, you know, hopefully you can, I can really make this make sense and break this down uh, to give clarity, right? So I'll tell you what, let's do this. Let's go to Proverbs before I get into this. Let's go to Proverbs. <clears throat> let's go to Proverbs. And we're going to um, go to chapter 4. Proverbs chapter 4 in verse 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And without that getting, get understanding. Let that sink in. Wisdom is the principal thing. <laughs> but therefore, get wisdom, but without that getting, get understanding. Like I said, the most high principles don't change. Law don't change. You know, and, and, and again, when people come up with these replacement doctrine, replacement theology, in essence, they don't believe, right? They don't believe who we say we are, you know, according. And again, and, and there's so many sources out there, but instead of going check and doing research, good research, not biased opinions, but good research. And then looking at the Bible, looking at the history of the culture, looking at all these outside sources. And there's plenty of sources that are out there. And getting out of your, getting out of your feelings they're going to do the same thing that happened to the children of Israel when Hamashiach came. They were looking for a Messiah, but they couldn't recognize him. They couldn't recognize him until he was crucified. But the principles, again, like I said, the principles don't change right now. Just like there was a faction of Israel that denied Hamashiach, denied the Messiah, same thing with the nations denying who we are. But I tell you what, let's let's do this here. Let's do this here. Let's um let's go to Matthew. Let's go to Matthew chapter. Matthew chapter 10. And we're gonna get verse 33. But whosoever shall deny me before man, him will I also deny before my father, which is in heaven. Just like the nations going to deny us, and they're going to, when they deny us, we're going to deny, deny them in front of the Most High. Because he, he chose a people, and his word is not going to change, no matter how you don't like it, it is what it is. If there's an issue, you have to deal with the Most High with that. But watch this, so let's run this down, let's run this down. Let's go to Exodus. Let's go to Exodus and we're going to come back to that deny, them denying the, the Messiah in a second. We're going to come back to that in mean, principle and make this make sense. Let's go to Exodus chapter 19. Exodus chapter 19 and verse 5. Now therefore, if ye obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me 
above all people. Again, that's what they hate. People don't like to hear that part. That's why they don't like to even go to the so-called Old Testament. But we're going to run this down, right? For all the earth is mine. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words which, which ye shall speak to the children of uh, speak unto the children of Israel. Again, you know, again, this is this the most highest word's not gonna change. Let's 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 edify this even more. So let's go to let's go to the so-called New Testament. Let's go to let's go to First Corinthians. Let's go to First Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, right? 1 Corinthians chapter 6. And start off at verse 1. There any of you having a matter against another, go into the law before the unjust and not before the saints. Who are the saints? The saints are the children of Israel. Do ye know that the saints shall judge the world? Let that sink in. Do ye know that the saints shall judge the world? And if ye, uh, if the world shall be judged by you, are ye unworthy to judge the smallest matters? Again, that's what the judges did. That's what the priests are. See, a lot of people, see, don't let religion become a stumbling block to you. Don't even let a lot of these organizations who who claim and who know even some of my brothers and sisters know who we are. We're not supposed to be a stumbling block to the nations. We're not supposed to be a stumbling block to the nations. But a lot of you guys, you know, from the nations gonna get in your feelings. Even some of my people who know who we are, you know, you know, they still deny it, even because of their religious ideologies. And they don't want to hear it. Because again, it's a doctrine that just set in their bones and they just Want to be right instead of let the word of the most high be be right. Let the word of the most high be true and for man be a liar. Because again, the principles are not going to change. Again, just like the children of Israel. Again, I'm gonna show you the concepts. I'm gonna, hopefully you can 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 pick up on them, you know, pick up on the uh, the principles. They, they're not gonna change. Just like the laws are not just like the laws are not gonna change. You know. Let's go to Matthew. Let's go back, let's go back to Matthew. Let's go back to Matthew. Matthew chapter 27, this time, and we're going to go to, let's just start off at uh, 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 25. Let's just get right, right to Matthew, Matthew 27 and 25. Then, uh, then answer all the people who, the children of Israel, and say, his blood be on us and our children. This is again why you see when when Hamashiach was sold to his enemies, it was sold to our enemies. Hamashiach was beat with uh, thirty nine lashes in slavery. My people were beat with thirty nine lashes. Hamashiach was hung and slow in a tree. My people were hung and slow in a tree. So again, those principles not again the same thing is going to happen, and a lot of people are not catching this. Tell you what, let's do this here. Let's do this here. Let's go to let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 30. Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 30. Deuteronomy chapter 30, right? Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 19. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you. Who the children of Israel that I have set before you life and death, blessings and curses. Therefore choose life, that both thou and thy seed may live. You know, and again, this is why my people my people who still denying the fact that we are the people, you don't even get it. You know, you show how much was a law made flesh. He's the law made flesh. You know, and I tell you what, let, let me let, something just came across my mind. Give me one second. 
Give me one sec, family. Give me one second. Okay, uh, let me go to Psalms. We're gonna we're gonna come back to that again. I'm I, I'm I'm gonna try to remember because it came across my mind right fast. So let's let's let me knock this out right fast. So we're gonna come come back to this. Okay, let's go to Psalms chapter sixty in verse um, verse seven. Gilead is mine, and Manasseh is mine. Ephraim also. Is the strength uh, of my hand. Judah is my lawgiver. Again. But we know the Most High is going to have a nation of kings and priests. Because that was the original intent. That's why they were supposed to be 12 supposed to meet the Most High at Mount Sinai. Not not just Moses. But he he's, he's going to he's going to make sure that what he intended in the beginning be fulfilled. You know, he had already knew all these things were going to happen a four time. Again, I'm going to let my, let me, let, 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 let me, let me, let me go to Isaiah, let me go to Isaiah, give me a second, let me go to Isaiah 46 in verse 10. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand. And I will do all my pleasure. See, his counsel, his word was going to stand. And these people keep trying to change the Most High's word. And it's, it's sad that 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 people from all both sides are going to get in the going to get in the work, going to get in the way. They're going to be a stumbling block to those that are really trying to really hear the word and 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 and, and receive those blessings. But anyway. You know, don't get caught up, family, for those that are really uh, trying to, you know, uh, uh, get a get again. Not don't get the wisdom in the light in the knowledge, but get the understanding, right? That's why again, I'm showing you these principles, and they're not changing. This principle not changing again, just like the Hamash, just like Hamash was chastised, Israel was chastised because of their disobedience. You know, hold on, give me a second, give me a second. Give me, give me one second, family. Yeah, it just, just, it's the, the, it's so much be coming across my mind. <laughs> um, yeah, just give me, give, uh, uh, one second, family. One second. Let me go to Amos. That's what I was trying to find. I was, most of you guys probably that that study. You 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 kind of knew where I was going at already. But anyway, like I said, he chastised Hamashiach. He grew some Hamashiach. Watch this here. Same thing. Uh, Amos chapter three. Uh, Amos chapter three. We're gonna start off with verse one. Hear ye this word. Hear this words that Yahweh speak unto uh, speak against you. O children of Israel, against the whole nation, or against the whole family, which I bought from the land of Egypt, saying, You you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore will I punish you for all your iniquity. Again, the principles are not changing, but people will try to make this... <laughs> And they're, they're going to try to change it, and they're not getting it, man. And, and, and you don't know. Just like just like the children of Israel, um, you know, uh, 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 are being bruised because of their iniquities. But also the children of Israel are going to re redeem all mankind to the Most High. Just like Hamashiach came and redeemed the children of Israel back to the Most High. Because, again... They fell because they broke his law. So let's go back to that. Let's go back to that, right? Let's go back to that. Let's go back to uh, Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 19. I call heaven 
and earth to record this day against you, that I have set before you life and death, blessings and curses, curse, cursings. Therefore, choose life that both thou and thy seed may live. The law. Right? Just like Adam fell in the garden. I tell you what, let's, let, let's again, let's, let's run it out. Let's, let's make this make sense. Principles don't change, family. Some, some of you guys are going to get it. Some of you guys are, 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 are just because, you know, you you don't like the messenger, <laughs> you're going to miss the message. But again, watch this here. But like I said, let, let's, let's go to Genesis chapter, Genesis chapter 2, verse 9. And out of the ground made Yahweh the Elohim grow every tree that that is pleasant to the sight and good for food. The tree of life also in the midst of the garden and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. So the tree of life in the midst of the garden. The tree of life. Hmm. Hamashiach, where was he killed? Where was he crucified? He was, killed. He was crucified in the garden. He was in the middle of the garden. See, that's when the children of Israel started really seeing that. That's when they started really getting it. And see, a lot of you Gentiles are not getting it, man. That's why it's be, you better be careful about that spirit, man, and you following religion. <laughs> because just like he bruised us, and you're denying who we are, we're going to deny you in front, of the mo in front of the Most High. See, again, because of our fall, because we were supposed to be the priests, for all humanity. So he's going to redeem. He, he, you know, our, through our fall and our captivity, it's really for your benefit so we can redeem you. See, that's what people not getting. That's why I said in one of the other videos, the captivity wasn't just about punishment. It's a place of refuge. But it's also that the Gentiles can hear, hear the gospel. Once they realize, because again, this is not the first time I mean, there's so many people, again, there's so many books, there's so many history, so many people that put this history out there, this information out there, that have been known this. You know, two, three hundred years, they've been writing books about that we were the people. But there's a faction of the country and society that don't accept that because, again, because they know that they have to answer for a lot of the wickedness. And instead of repenting, instead of repenting, they're going to let that ego and that arrogance and that spirit condemn them. But anyway, anyway, like I said, Hamashiach was in the middle of the garden. He was in the midst of the garden. He was a Nazarite. What the word Nazarite mean? Nazarite means branch. Nazarite means branch. <laughs> it's a branch. That's why they... That's why when they when they knew where he was from and, and knew where he grew up at, they understood those principles. Let me give you another concept. Let me give you another principle. So you can get this. The first Adam. The first Adam, right? Son killed his, his brother. He had blood on his hand. His wife was from his ribs. Came from his rib. The serpent was going to buy that as heel, right? The grounds, the ground was uh, set to uh, grow thorns and thistles. Many of you guys already get it right now. Hamashiach, what? He had blood on his hands. His feet were bruised. His ribs was pierced. And he had thorns and thistles on his head. He came to, what, that, that was, that was, that was, that was cursed through Adam, the first Adam. He came to restore it. He came to restore it. See, when you start understanding these principles, the most highest word is perfect. The most highest word is perfect. But again, a lot of people are going to argue and debate. I tell you what, let's let's get let's get this here. Let's get to Isaiah. Let's go to Isaiah 11 and 1. Let's go to Isaiah 11 and 1. Isaiah 11 and 1. 
And there shall come forth a rod out of, <clears throat> out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his root. A branch. A branch. <laughs> See, when, they, when, they saw, when the children of Israel saw that, because there was no such thing as no New Testament. When they saw that, it made sense to them. It made sense to them. That's why a lot of you, that's why a lot of Gentiles that really understand what I'm getting at and where I'm going at. And some of my people that, that, that see these principles and see the law, it only makes sense. You know, again, that's why you guys who are arguing and debating, you know, you know, with with the people who are sincere who are trying to teach you guys and, and, and get to the point where we're doing the, the will of the most high. We're doing the will of the Most High. It's, it's not my will. It's, 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 it's His will. You know? So He get the glory. You guys are going to argue. Or you want to argue and debate with those guys who know who we are. We are our people who know who they are, but they, they, they're still puffed up in their arrogance. Not understanding their, not understanding their, their duties, their, their job, their responsibility. See, see, we wanted to be like the other nations. That was never the most high's intention. That's why he gave us up to our he gave our answers up to their to their hearts. You know. So so again, you guys are gonna get out there, and there's some there's some uh, uh, Gentiles that even approach these brothers out there in a, in, in a humble. But a lot of my brothers and sisters out there who know who we are, they, they're puffed up, and the most high is gonna deal with them. He's going to deal with them. But he's going to deal with my people who are denying who we are. And they, they want to argue and debate because, again, they don't want to get out of religion. They, they're not getting this. Again, this book is a covenant. It's not a religion. It's a custom. It's a culture. And we're supposed to be teaching the people. You, you find it weird that all the nations will follow us in this folly, right? They'll follow us, you know, as long as we entertain them. Music, sports. So on and so forth. Again, the salt of the earth. So how much more do people follow us when we magnify the most high? But again, you know, just, just looking at those concepts, those principles, we see that they're not changing. Again, let the word of the most high be true in every man be alive. Let the word of the most high be true in every man be alive. So I'll tell you, let, let, let's do this here. Let's 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 get uh let's go to back to Genesis. Let's go back to Genesis, right? Let's let's go back to Genesis. And get Genesis chapter two. <clears throat> Genesis chapter two and verse Verse 7. And Yahweh the Elohim formed man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And man became a living soul. The most I gave him law. And that's why he told us in Deuteronomy choose life or death. The law is life. The law is life. Tell you what. Uh, let's do this. Let's, do, let's, let's go, to, go to Proverbs. Let's go to Proverbs. Let's go to Proverbs. Let's go to Proverbs. Uh, back to Proverbs. Um, chapter 7. Proverbs chapter 7. In verse 2. Keep my commandments and live, and my law as the apple of the eye. When he gave the man life, he gave him law. That's why I say it in Deuteronomy chapter 30. Uh, uh, choose today, you know, I, 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 the, the law bear witness against you today. So choose life or death. I record this today so you choose life or death. And the law gives you life. So when these people are telling you that the law is done away with, you know what you're doing. You're choosing death. When these people tell you that, <laughs> that the law is done away with, they, 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 they are they are choosing death. And the Hamashiach was 
the law made fans, the law manifested into the flesh. That's why he came in the volume of the book. He was the law made flesh. So when you deny the Messiah, you then deny life. Same thing with us, because guess what? <laughs> you gotta see this. Judas the lawgiver. Judas the lawgiver. Which again, which all twelve brothers, all twelve tribes are gonna be kings and priests. They're gonna be lawgiver. Again, choose life. See, the principle is not going to change because the law is not going to change. The principles and the law go hand in hand. With all that getting, get wisdom, but get understanding. Right? I'll tell you what, let's do this. Here. Let's do this. Here. Let's go to, let's go to First Corinthians. Let's go to First Corinthians, uh, 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 chapter fifteen. First Corinthians, chapter fifteen. And let's get verse 4. So that started at verse 45. And so it was written. So it is written. The first Adam, right? The first Adam was in the garden, right? Was made a living soul. Oh, was I gave him law, <laughs> right? Right? Think about it. The, the last Adam was made a quickening spirit. Again, that's why they saw this. That's why... Again, they, 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 they saw those principles, right? How be it? That was not first which was is spiritual, but that what was natural. Again, first Adam was in the garden, right? And afterwards, that which is spiritual. The first Adam is the earth, earthly. The second man is Yahweh, is Adonai from heaven. As is the earth, earthy, such are they also that are earthy, and is, and is of the heavenly. Such are they also that are heavenly. Like I said, the first Adam, all those things happened. The second Adam had to come back and restore, but he had, he was restoring the children of Israel, bringing them back to the law, because again, they were dead in the view of the other most high because guess what? They turned their back on the law. So they were dead in the view of the eye of the most high. Bringing them back to the covenant. Restoring them. Because guess what? Just like the first Adam, mankind fell through the first Adam, the nations fell through us because we were supposed to be the lawgiver. We were supposed to be the kings and priests. Above all nations, not to rule in in wickedness and in in in, in um, evilness and deception, but to rule in righteousness, right? But again, but, but again, you know, I know, I know a lot of you guys probably see these principles and you see the concept and you see how I line up. And if you do, you know, all praise the Most High. But for those again that that struggle, and you're really serious, again, I'm gonna keep saying it. You know, pray about it. Pray about it, and and and, and ask the Most High, you know, to 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 uh, show you and guide you, and fast if necessary. You know, but with that being said, family, as usual, peace, love, shalom.